started. All right, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just going to record just in case what I think is going to happen happens. So these three guys are a part of at least a five man. So, and they very rarely roll like three deep or more. The only times I've seen them roll three deep or more is when they're doing big raids or, you know, going on a main mission or something like that. Now, these guys are based, I uh, want to say, 5,000 meters away at least. And over the last half hour, 40 minutes, I have been watching them head straight north, straight towards this this big base. A base that, for the 11 weeks this server has been here, they are the only ones that have not been raided. So they are the only active base that's been here this long that has not been raided. They got over 30 gates. And they have all of the loot. They have mega loot, for sure. Um, too much. They've done really well. So I just want to see if they are coming straight to this town to raid this base. Which they will not be able to do it, but it'll be cool to see. So I'm just going to hang out and see if this is... So, just so... Just so it's on video. First off, I think she's AFK. Which will not be good for her. If they can see her. Which, I don't even know if they can. They can. Or would be able to. So, this is their garage. They had cars stashed in the woods, but people know they're here. Uh, I know there's a there's a big raid on this place tomorrow at 5 p.m. Because um, people are talking about it. So it's going to be like half the server. Because these guys have been... They've been fucking shit up for a while. I love these guys. Astasi Babu and, uh, and Sky or Shift or whatever. But, and they're awesome people, but you can't win too much in DayZ. Or lose too much. So here's a few gates... Here's a couple more. Is that door accessible? No. Um, here's some more. Here's more. And this is half of one side. The other side is... Let me see if I can get... It's all these gates. Then there's going upstairs. So you got one there. Um, one there. Three more there. Four, five. Oh, that's another one. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, look, look, this is an incredible amount of gates. And then there's even more gates. And then there's more gates, more gates, more gates, more gates, more gates, more gates, more gates. I mean, they literally can't put anything else in here. It's so tight. So, we'll see. And I'm not saying people can't do it. I'm saying these guys will not be prepared for this. I don't think... I don't think... Anybody on the server, any group of people, has half of what it takes to get in here. However, there's a lot of people that are teaming up. So it'll be ironic if these people actually are coming here and start to do some damage. Might just be coming to this base. Yeah, I didn't think about that. This is not their base. Ah, uh, they're probably just. Oh, one guy's raiding. The other two are watching. This is a good team.
All right, I thought they were going to raid a big base. I forgot about this little guy. Matter of fact. Let's see what's in here. Oh, they're going to be disappointed. They're going to be very disappointed, but there's just no loot. These guys are very protected, which is great. They are overwatching their guys just in case anything goes wrong. So my guess, because this place has been looted, my guess is they came in through the window. Because I know you can. They might not know that, though. I thought Johnny was with them, but I don't know. So, I don't know what kind of gear these guys got. I know they got better shit than this. Um, but, dude's firing a BSS or an SVAL. Like, that's low penetration, low damage. They shouldn't be using that. I mean, I know they have better stuff. Please, somebody go loud. That echo is awesome. Good coverage on the team, that's for sure. I mean, most raiding teams, they are way more disorganized than this. I mean, two guys, their job is overwatching. That's awesome. It's awesome to see. It's rare, at least for me. Thousands of hours of seeing this shit.
Now I do not know what Johnny is doing. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't know about that other base over there. Tell you what though, be really cool to see these guys get into a gunfight. Just went loud. Which I think they're gonna have to. I mean, he is using penetrating rounds and he is hitting the frame. See what they're at, frame wise. I can't see it. Oh, it's because my shit's not on. Plenty of rounds to go. Yes, Johnny, go down that road. Oh, yes, yes. So about 150 meters, he'll start hearing the shots. Tell me they're not together. Damn, I'm pretty sure they're together. I'm, I'm just remembering. I know there's two five-mans that came on, but... find out real soon. His gun's not even out. He can hear that. Yeah, I think they're together. The thing that makes me think he's not on their team is is he's looting. Like, should they not be focused on raiding if he was joining his team? He's repairing his suppressor. I mean, that is a really smart move to not be loud like that. It's just expensive on GCs, on gun clean kits. He has to be on the same team. He can clearly hear that.
I mean, <laughs> this is pretty obvious now. They're on the same team. So Johnny's the leader. Um, their whole group was banned from Northman's um, for cheating. But what actually happened was the thing that Northman's is going through. And they um, are aiding cheaters. And they are playing their own game, killing people and whatnot. I saw both sides of the video. So Northman's video showed these guys cheating. But their full video wasn't cheating at all. Uh, it was clearly staged. These guys reported the admins for admin abuse, and the admins banned them for cheating, which wasn't true. So I heard their case, if you will. I saw the video and just said, "All right, well, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make an exception for your team." But one strange thing: it's I don't even have to wait for cheating. You know, three strikes, you're out. No, it's one strike. And if it's if something's weird your whole team's banned and they were like fair and I've been watching these guys like fucking crazy and they're not doing anything they are very successful but the way that they plan things and the way they watch over people and the like the amount of patience they have like this is deserved I'm it's rare to see people this dedicated but it's deserved in my opinion These guys got to be close. Damn, there are other interactions I want to see. But honestly, I want to see if these guys take these tents. There's garbage in here. This is definitely a waste of their time. I mean, maybe not. Tents are pretty cool. And they're rare. You know, there's a, only a certain amount of them on the map. This map is 40% smaller than Livonia. So when we copied Livonia code, when it came to like base building tools and tents and, and stuff like that, we reduced those by 40% because there's just, there'd be too much shit everywhere. These guys definitely are taking their their time, though. Like, part of me, rating wise, would be like, "You guys are taking way too fucking long." But this, look at this—they got they got three men on Overwatch. I mean, this is incredible. Like, doesn't matter how long you take. Matter of fact, I would suggest that you take a long ass time if you have people this dedicated hanging out. Like. Uh, it might be redundant, but when I say this dedicated, there are three people doing nothing but watching and making sure. These are relatively excellent positions. That is definitely an excellent position. Watching the guy doing the raid, that's an excellent position. This guy, Johnny, uh, he might be doing it right now, but I would suggest that he come from somewhere over here. And Overwatch, but he might not have a good spot. Right here, I would say something like that, but people can spot you. Maybe, maybe there's not a good spot to do it to watch from this angle. But this guy can be tagged from way down here as soon as somebody starts hearing the shots. Like, if he's going to use a suppressor, I would suggest somebody get way over here so that way you can see him before the shooter is heard. What is this town name? Teasingham. That's weird. That's not what it's called in the uh, admin tools. It's like Bellham or something like that. Did they just get in? They did. These guys gotta be pissed. Now, these guys are pretty smart. Not everybody's perfect, but what they should have done is they should have shot through the window if they were tall enough shooting the frame. Would have saved half their ammo, more than half. 
Shooting the planks from the outside takes, uh, well, in total, it's 330, 340 rounds to get all the way through the way they just did if you're using high cal rounds. Um, but from the backside, it's less. It's like 150 because you're only destroying the frame, and as soon as the frame's gone, the planks are gone. So, they're going to have to take the wire off. I mean, you'll get the planks off. He's trying to get the prompt. Maybe he'll realize in a minute, but... No, nope. no, he's still trying to get the prompt. He needs pliers. Nobody else in a thousand meters. I don't know who this base is, who owns this. Is he repairing the tent he's about to pack up? He is. Well, I wouldn't suggest doing this here. In general. So where... Am I missing it? Where's this pack out? So, let's see. So, there's that pack out, and it's right by the leg. Oh, it's in the wall. So, they're probably not going to... Oh, maybe. They could come out here and pack it up. Maybe. So this guy's repairing this. I can't imagine that they're not taking the tent if they're repairing it. Whoa, is somebody... Oh, it's just Johnny taking off. Yep, there it is. Just saw it on the logs that he packed up a tent. Yeah, you're going to have to go outside for that one. Just open it, dude. Just open the door. There you go. Yeah, shit. He's getting it. All right, well, the guy's got everything. Uh, they didn't have pliers on him, but I do believe that they were trying to take this apart intentionally. Uh, we'll see what else they're doing. I might come back to them. Um, let's see, time is 2.21. Okay, so I'm going to hop real quick to some other people before I kill this recording just to see if, uh, if there's anything going on. Um, you using the standard tools to teleport myself, so I'm just aging myself away so I don't drag the wrong person <laughs> to the wrong place. So let's see, We've got dude, literally. I literally just moved. So, all right, well, there was a duo here, or not a duo, but uh, two people, but as I TP'd, they moved. So now, or they logged, sorry. I'm, I don't know why I'm so distracted right now. So, all right, Booner and Crustusa, I don't know if they're together, but we're about, oh, I, I, I actually don't know. Is Booner in the water? Why is Booner in the water?
Alright, swimming takes forever, so I'm going to kill this video and go to the next.